Hi, Greg with Gree here, down in our training lab down in Atlanta. Today I want to talk about multi-zone mini splits and what happens when we cross wire or mispipe the outdoor unit with multi-zone systems. In this system that I've got running here right now, it has two circuits, both A and B hooked up, C is not utilized. And as you can see, the B circuits froze up. The reason why that circuit is froze up is because up on the terminal blocks, A and B wiring is crossed meaning our piping from our indoor unit going to the A circuit, the wiring from that head is going to B, and the piping that's going to the B circuit and the wiring from that is going to A. So the system that's supposed to be running is the A circuit, but since it's wired to the B circuit, we're controlling the flow on the EVs to the wrong circuit. So therefore, on this B circuit that's not supposed to be running, we have no airflow, we have no indoor fan, and that's why the lines are froze up. So when you're installing these systems, you need to be very careful and make sure your piping from your A circuit goes to the A service valves, and then your wiring from that head goes to the A terminal block. And then the B piping needs to go to the B service valves, and the wiring from the B needs to go to the B terminal block. And then the same thing with C. And if, if you cross wire those, as I just showed you, you're gonna get freeze ups. Now, if both of those indoor units were calling at the same time, then it won't freeze up because we're controlling the EVs on both of them. So keep that in mind when you're installing a multi-zone system. The other thing you wanna keep in mind is that we don't wanna cross the pipes either. When you're laying out your piping and your wiring, make sure you're not switching the gas pipe from say the B circuit with the gas pipe that's on the A circuit. If you crisscross those two, you're gonna have flow problems the same way and can have freeze ups. Same as if we are liquid pipe or the small pipe as a lot of times it's referred to. If you cross those up, you're not gonna flow the refrigerant into the right head again and you're gonna end up with frozen lines again. The one thing that I like to point out to guys when I talk to them on the phone is the majority of the time when you do a new install, you run the whole system, you have all the heads functioning. We never ran just one head, so then you leave thinking the whole system's working properly, and then the next day or two, the homeowner's calling you saying, hey, this thing's freezing up. And then you go out there, and you turn all of the units on again, and nothing freezes up. Well, it won't do it unless one head is calling, so be very careful of that, and you may want to do your final checks running one head at a time and make sure you got proper pressures and it's not freezing up. So with that, hope that helps you out with multi-zone systems. And remember with Gree, we're always by your side.